parallel circuits, the current changes depending on how many paths and depending on the resistance of the circuit. So if we have a look at this circuit where we've got three amps and we have equal resistance in each path, the current will separate equally. So you'll have one amp in each path. Measuring current in a parallel circuit, it's different as I discussed earlier to series circuits. Kirchhoff's current law states that the sum of current flowing through each path is equal to the total current. So if we have a look at our resistors, we've got 100, 200, 300. We've got a supply voltage of 24 volts and we have to work out the current within those three areas and the total current. What we do is we use current 1 equals voltage divided by the resistance and that gives us 24 volts divided by 100 and going through this first part of the circuit is 0.24 amps. In the next part of the circuit we've got 200 so 200 24 divided by 200 ohms equals 0.12 amps. Next one is 300, so it's 24 divided by the 300. There's a current of 0.08 of an amp. All we have to do to find the total current is add up those individual currents. So that gives us a total current of 0.44 amps throughout the circuit.